The decision is yours. You can live in the yesterday or you can live in today. And today, Christ is present. Praise the name of the Lord. The man of God preached tonight. Oh, did God come in. How many enjoyed that message? I did. He said, my soul. Oh, yes. Yes, hallelujah. Pastor being fed, yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. I walked in here very extremely tired. I've had a very stressful day. But when I walked in here tonight, I said, yes. Lord, the man yes. of God is here. Yes. I'm going to get to Take hear. It from here. <laughs> I'm going to get to listen. And I was one of those that he was preaching to. Me too. <laughs> you may not have been, yes, I but I was. Yes, I am. For at the time, <clears throat> after 50 years, it would be easy to throw in the time. Yes, after 51 approaching years, it would be easy in the flesh to throw in the time. Yes, he was preaching to me tonight. Yes, when he said, God is going to do a greater work than he's ever done. All right, Lord, here I am. He said, if you can't go any further, tell the Lord, take it from here. So when he said that, I said, Lord, take it from here. Hallelujah. I felt the greatest relief I've ever felt in my life. Amen. Amen, brother. Because you see, I know my God. Now, I'm going to say this, we're going to sing it this, one, but as a pastor, I'm speaking to my flock. This man of God is going to be with us every night this yes. week. It's going to be what God wants. Yes, I believe it. It's going to be tremendous. But God did not send him into Bradenton to do what I've been doing because I can do that as God enables me. The local men here can do what they do. But God sends a man to add to the men that we might be delivered from the mouth of the Lord. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. Yes. This is a great church on the verge of greatness, my God. And when he said, just say, take it from here. And I said, Lord, thank you, because I needed that. And I'm glad you take it from here, because I believe this great God is just a great God. Without any further explanation, he's a great God. Praise the name of the Lord. I've got a choice to live in those exciting, uplifting words. Yes. Are they going to bounce off from me? Thank you for letting And I can let yes. everything in life affect me. Thank you. I choose to make a shut out, shut down, Amen. and shut up Amen. every voice Amen. coming at me. Yes. Because I heard a voice say, God will finish that that he started. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for that message. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for that message. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for that message. Amen. Put the towel away. Amen. I'm not throwing in the towel. No. I'm saying, Lord, take it from here. Praise the name of the Lord. It is no secret what God can do. I think we can sing it tonight. That's one of our theme songs here. But I think we can sing it. And again, Amen. as a pastor speaking in my flock, you can let the word affect you. But not necessarily if you don't let it affect you. But if you let it affect you, it will absolutely bless you. Solve the problems. Take care of the need. Because his word is a living word. With his word you can forgive. Yes. And you can be forgiven. 
with his word you can let yesterday be a check spit. Yes. And with his word, you can spend the ready cash of a man of God preaching tonight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I was here. Hey. Hey. Thank you. 